What's up, people? Swag Train back on the mic once again for another part of Let's Play Persona 5 Royal. Last time, we couldn't send out the calling card to sign Ajima because Akechi suggested we should wait until the time limit to make sure the calling card is sent. Just to make sure the treasure is um, going to appear in our palace. So, that means we can do whatever we want for a bit. And I think what we're going to do is spend time with Confidants. And last time, we maxed out Yoshida. And we got closer with the Y, and got him up to rank 7 and a half. We got to rank 7, and we got his Mementos request, so that's more to the plate for us, which is a good thing. Now, what to do? There's nothing we can really do, because we cannot max out Takamaki yet. Which is a bummer. Oh, it's not around. Oh, but what we could do... Indeed. We could duplicate a picture. Uh, not a picture, a card, if you will. And you can get a charge card. Very well. <laughs> Beautifully executed. Alright. Now, I think we will go to the rooftop and hang out with Haru again. Because we can't hang out with Futaba, although we really should. Oh, the vegetables are ready. We can take the vegetables now. Like, this, is, again, is the replacement for the curry and coffee at this point. <laughs> They're just relying on Haru for this. Comment about these ones. Nah, it's only one. We may need to get closer, though. In order to get more than one. Thank you. I thank you. I'd like you to spend some time with me if you're free. I need to speak with you about Takakura-san. Right? Thank you. Let's get some coffee while we talk. I know. Why don't we try it at Big Bang Burger for a change? I thought you didn't. I thought you wouldn't want to step anywhere near that place after what happened. Um. I love to take a curacao, but I didn't manage to find very much beyond those initial rumors. Several people I asked said that he often complained about my father, but just as many seemed to say the exact opposite. One side has to be deceiving me, right? And honestly, I'm honestly suspicious of everyone at this point. Uh, trust no one. Just go with your gut. <laughs> That's what I sometimes do. Just, just go with your gut. You're so cool. I guess you only really trust yourself, huh? <laughs> yeah. That's actually a bit sad. To be honest, Takakura-san has been pushing the marriage particularly hard lately. He says it would provide vital backup for myself and Nokumura Foods, both in public and in private. He's even started asking Sugimara-san into important company meetings. <sighs> we have a contract. Does that mean it's already too late? Is marrying him my only option? Though, now that I think about it, that may be the best chance to help the employees my father left behind. But there has to be some other way, right? You're right. Perhaps I shouldn't give up so easily. Either way, graduation is quickly approaching. I'll need to decide on my course of action soon enough. Before you came along, I hadn't even considered not going through with this marriage. I believed I would simply marry the man my father had chosen and let the rest of my life pass me by. I wonder what what would have happened if my father didn't have a palace. Would I have just resign myself to the fate he had made for me? Does that really matter at this point? You probably wouldn't have. No. At some point, you need to stand up on your own two feet and realize this is my life. I feel like you're independent enough you would have done that. Besides... It's in the past. Yes. You're right. I should look forward towards the future instead of thinking back on the past. Honestly, though, things would have been far worse for me if I hadn't joined the Phantom Thieves. Plus, I would have never had anyone to talk to like um. this. If there's anything I could do to return a flavor, favor, please help me. I want to help you as much as I can. And I can sense Haru's trust in you. Yes! Bumper crop. All right. Just when I need it. 
I hope someday I can just look look out at the sea with a nice cup of coffee and forget about all this. And I hope you'll be there with me, Shadow Coon. We can forget all the elephants, though. <laughs> now, shall we return home? A.K.A. I feel like Haru's starting to fall for me. If I'm being low-key here. Hello? This is Shadow Coon, right? I wanted to apologize for all the weird stuff I said earlier. You know how I talked about how things would have been if I hadn't joined the Phantom Thieves? And once I started to imagine that again, this powerful fear came flooding back. Pinch yourself. <laughs> yeah, pinch yourself. Ah, yes! I read about that in a book! The idea is simply to pinch my cheek very hard. Ow! <laughs> she actually did it! Ow! <laughs> yeah, that hurt. So this is all real then. <laughs> and I'm so indebted to you once again. I have to work hard so I can repay you. Sorry if I worried you. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> That drink was tasty. Aren't you bored? Ooh, yes. We can get closer to coffee, Dad. That is always a positive. That is always a positive. And I think I will do that. Because I do need to get closer to Sojiro. Finish that out sooner or later. Or, actually. Um, what shall we do? Let's do an affinity reading. Let's get closer to... Not, Let's get closer to Shinya. It's fine. We should probably prioritize Ifumi, though, if we're being honest with ourselves. So I think we will. Put off Sojo's confidence for a little later. Like I said, I think we're going to put Sojo's confidant off for a bit. We could get closer to Ifumi, too. Good evening. Too. The gold's key to victory lies in retreating. This means at times, retreating is an effective strategy in order to attack with your next move. It may be good for you to remember that as well. Do you have some time today? I'd like to request a match with you. All right. Ooh, okay. Thank you very much. I don't have a star persona, though, so, uh... We'll see how this goes. <laughs> You've been defeated. Oh, great, thanks. The battlefield is mine. <laughs> the ultimate Togo Kingdom is complete. Oof. But to think you could stay you could stay standing after being struck down by my silver infinity sword. You've improved, considering you endured the climbing silver so early in the match. The determination I'm sensing from you is a real inspiration. I must think of a new move. I'm afraid you'll surpass me one day if I don't stay sharp. Actually, the exhibition match again against the pro my mother was talking about has been confirmed. He's a very famous shogi player. I mean it to be the first woman to reach the pro pro ranking league. I'm sure it'll draw a lot of attention, especially after that article. I don't intend to lose though. This is my chance to display my skills. It may come down to luck at the end of the day. You're right. However, that also means I have a chance of winning, even though my opponent is ranked higher. To be honest, I'm not sure how well my skills will hold up against a true professional. All right. But I'm sick of being treated like an idol. I have to show them what I'm made of. Idols are cool too, in some respects. But I believe in you. 
Thank you. There's a move I would want to try out. Really playing on the match? Thank you very much. But again, idols in some respects are cool. As long as that idol is actually cool with him or herself, then you can look up to them. Earn double the money if All the right. idol is won in one turn after an ambush. Nice. Let's begin the match. I'll start. Oh boy. We're screwed. We'll take the free point of knowledge that we don't need at the moment. <laughs> Thank you for today. Although I do think we actually will need max knowledge at some point. I think we needed it with Akechi in order to get to rank 7 with him. And I think we needed it with Ifumi. Hello. Hey. We will be sending the calling card on the 18th, 10 days from now. Would you like to do anything before then? Well, probably train. Oh? You're quite disciplined. If you need us, summon us. I'll be there immediately. Our existence depends on the strategy. Let's do everything we can. Yep. Grab your notes. Last time we were talking about how court trials work. Today we'll be learning about what? You're asking if the Phantom Thieves will be caught if they <coughs> will be given a trial if they get caught? Of course they would. All they would need to do is prove a link between the deaths and their activities. Short, they would be put on trial for murder. Blazer. You can't prove that, though! You know it, right? Tell me how old you have to be in order to listen in on a trial. Any age. This is it. Exactly. No age restrictions for listening in on the trial. You can get in whether you're 0 or 85. Youth crimes are an exception, but it's basically open to the public, meaning you can all go attend. Imagine the, the visitor's seats will be filled with the fan that these were put to trial. Everyone is dying to know who exactly the culprits are and how they did it. We didn't do the psychotic breakdown incident! How many times do I have to say this? We had nothing to do with the psychotic breakdowns, okay? max out the comic key. Alright, then let's do that. We shall max out on. All we have to do now is send a calling card. I guess we could just lay low until then. You free today? Thanks. I have a magazine shoot today. It's a special on me and Mika. Up and close. Up close and personal with two popular models. I want you to be there for it. It's over at Seaside Park. Let's go. Don't pull a stunt like that again, okay? I won't. Huh? Huh? What's going on here? Oh, uh... Oh, right. You fell victim to it, too. Is it okay if I tell him, Mika-chan? Yeah. Do you remember a while back when a bunch of models weren't showing up to our shoots? Oh, yeah. I remember. Well, apparently, Mika-chan was posing as our agency and telling them the shoot locations had changed. We had heard rumors that she might have been doing it, but we thought people were just jealous of her. I mean, those shoots she filled in for really boosted her popularity. Anyway, I asked her about it today, and all she had to say was, I'm sorry. What I did was really terrible. It caused so much trouble for anyone. You should be fired. But I'm going to start working even harder from now on. I promise. <sighs> <sighs> you should be fired for something like that. Let's just get started. You're ready to go, right? Yep. Uh, I'm surprised she wasn't fired. You did something that lame. Who are you calling lame? This industry is overflowing with models. Without an end, your career will never even get off the ground. Chances don't come to those who wait. You have to make your own luck if you want to succeed. <sighs> You really are something. It's your own fault for getting a boot. If you can't crawl your way back up, you may as well just go home. In either way, it's not like I'm not talented. I just needed my shot, and now I'm selling like crazy. You talk big, but they still found out about your fake emails. 
Yeah, sure, but all I had to do was offer a teensy apology. It would have been dumb to try and hide it from them. Anyway, they can't sack me now. I'm gonna get even more popular, even if it means being detested for my actions. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Oh. You're just like the villains I used to admire when I was a kid. Beautiful, strong, and wicked. Honestly, I just can't bring myself to hate you. Well, I don't have any trouble hating you. Sorry, Mika, but your hard work is only going to get you second place. I'm going to be the number one model around. You might be more popular right now, but I'll take that spot from you. Fair and square. Hmm. Alright then, no more tricks. I'll beat you with beauty. Fair and square. Of course. Sounds good to me. <laughs> eh. Ana's hot. Not really cute. Ana's hot. <laughs> <laughs> this is so fun. Yeah, it's been really great so far. So, how was I? <laughs> it's a tough love. <laughs> nah, we'll be nice today. <laughs> well, yeah, not to work extra hard with you watching. <laughs> oh boy. Um, I know I said I want to be the number one model around, but I'm okay with that not happening just yet. For now, I just want to keep improving, one step at a time. Then someday down the line, I'll be able to look at myself with pride. Hopefully, people will see that confidence and draw strength from it. I'm gonna be a ray of light for the people on this planet. Just like you and Shiho are for me. Isn't <laughs> that a bit embarrassing? <laughs> oh, but, it's true. You're my light. Alright, break time's over. Ancha, you need to be the main focus of this session. Got it! I'll take on a little more once this shoot ends, okay? Alright then. I mm. seems to be thinking about something here. Back when I met Shiho, when she saved me, I realized that personal relationships are something to be treasured. Mm-hmm. They That's are. why I'm not going to run away anymore. I'll face myself head on. This time, it's my turn to help someone. But I'm still kind of worried. You gotta face yourself head on. Do you think you could help me? Huh. Ask me anything. Mm -hmm. You can lean on me too if you need it. <laughs> I already am. <laughs> Even though that lie was cheesy as fuck. I feel like we finally see each other eye to eye. I'm so glad I met you. <laughs> Feel a strong bond between me and On. I am thou. And I finally finished this confidant after putting it on hold for God knows how long. I pro I prioritized you, Skate, since I was in a rhythm with that one. And, and then I <laughs> decided to finish Makoto's confidant once I maxed out my charm. The and then Futaba came along, then Shinya, and now Haru. I put this one off to the side for a bit too long. But oh well. All right. We got here! <laughs> Doesn't matter how we really got to this point, what matters is we finished on this confidant. <laughs> it was a bit of a ride, but. Hey, we're here. That's all that matters. We got Hectate. Or Hecate, whatever the hell you pronounce it. Alright. That doesn't mean I'm gonna stop counting on you. After all, you're an eternal member of my fan club. I never signed up for that, by the way. <laughs> you have to ask what that it means, Joker. It means forever. Got it? Uh, I didn't sign up for this, but fine. Anyway, let's eat before our food gets cold. Time to dig in. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Ooh, yes, you need ice. 
Alright. Ah, you're back. Yeah, Sojiro. Yeah, let's hang out with coffee, Dad. Could I ask you to help today? You're not to blame. I'll chase out anyone who says otherwise. Thanks. I'm letting you handle today's curry. Mm -hmm. Sorry, we're closed for. Sojiro Sakura, I presume? Our apologies for coming in so late. We're investigators from the Domestic Affairs Court. Oh boy. We received a report that one of your customers was assaulted by the pro probationer residing here. Moreover, the, the, report, the report stated that you were abusing your child, Futaba-san. No, we didn't make it. Uncle sent us his report before, to the police before we could make him have a change of heart. However, the anonymity of the report has led us to question the validity of its content. May we have a word? Eh, fine by me. I've got nothing to hide. Please, take a seat. You're saying that report was falsified? Yeah. It's true that Futaba was, a living, was living as a shut-in, but she overcame that within her own power. I would never abuse her. She's like a daughter to me. And what about that assault claim? His criminal record points to such a history of violence. That's not true! You're wrong! That kid never laid a finger on that guy. He just stood in the way to try and protect Futaba. To be honest, Blazer Coon, if we look into your current reputation at school, and there seems to have been no issues whatsoever. Now then, it's our job to make sure children like you are safe. How is it, live with Sakura song? <laughs> He's a bit of a nag. <laughs> it's great, though. <laughs> well, there you have it. What do you think, Futaba san? Uh, I'm okay. I couldn't go out for a while, but everyone helped me get better. I'm not afraid anymore. That's why I'm really happy living with my dad. Futaba. There we go. I see. It's quite obvious there was no true to the report we received. I don't think we'll need to schedule any additional check-ins for Blazer Coon either. Y you sure about this? Were they attempting to deceive us? They wouldn't have been but they would have been nearly so earnest. Besides, meeting them only served to reaffirm my suspicions. These children are the real victims here. The truth of these things will be, will be clear to, to you once you're a little more experienced. Anyway, thank you for your cooperation. We'll see ourselves out. <laughs> Sojiro, we did it! Sojiro? Never great daughter. <laughs> It's not just her idiot. There's another pretty important person living here, too. Yeah, yeah! He's talking about you, Shadow! <laughs> this is because you punks just had to go and say all that cheesy stuff. It wasn't cheesy! It was the truth! Anyways, I hunger! Give me some curry! <laughs> so much for this sentimental moment. Alright, sit your butts down. This is where you two belong. Man! Come on, Shadow. It's time to eat. Alright, Rank 9. Alright. Yes. Oh, and uh, Futaba. When you call me your dad, do you think you could, um, say that again? Sorry, I didn't catch that. My stomach was too grumbly. What'd you say? <sighs> Never mind. <laughs> uh, never mind. Sorry, you got time now, right? I just wanted to talk. It's hard to say some things in front of Futaba. She called me dad. Hell of a title. Not one I thought I'd ever get, but it's kind of nice having someone to sit and eat with, especially when she's such a big fan of my cooking. God, I'm a joke. Getting all sentimental about like this, my age. <laughs> you two were already a family, though. <laughs> it's what I've always wanted to see. Whoa, it's getting late already. Sorry to make you listen through all that. 
Still, I guess there's nothing wrong with a little sappiness now and then, even from an old grump like me. Alright, I'm gonna head to sleep. Don't catch a cold, alright? <laughs> I love this man. See, let's catch a cold. Oh, Lord. The lower house disbanded. It was an internal split. Masayo Shishido. He's the only Whoa. one. He's the only one that can stand up for what's right. The only one who will make good in this world. That's the kind of person we need leading this nation, especially in times like this. Shido leads the United Future Movement, right? He was right. If we'd taken the Phantom Thieves seriously from the start, they'd be behind bars by now. Which will come first, do you think? Regime change or the apprehension of the Phantom Thieves? Good lord. And I wonder if that Shido character will be important later on. I wonder. Meanwhile, including the day we gotta carry out the plan, there's only 11 days left. Time is really slipping away. What will happen to us if we fail? We won't fail. It's kind of tough to say that for sure, though. Maybe, but we can't start losing heart before we've even done anything. If we do that, we'll just mess everything up, even the parts we could definitely succeed in. You actually said something wise for once. <laughs> <laughs> you actually said something wise for once. You wanna fight? You two get along so well. Uh, how so? They're, they bicker like a married couple. That is an outrageous claim. That's what I should be saying! Come on, stop it. Let's try to keep tensions low. We're all feeling anxious. Even you, Makoto? Yes, I can't really be helped this time. That's not how I raised you! <laughs> Get a hold of yourself, for you. <laughs> Oh, God. That's not how I raised you! Get a hold of yourself, Ryuji! <laughs> Why are you singling me out? I love that convo. Hey. Alright. What are you doing today? Yeah, we should hang out with Futaba. As much as I want to chill with my favorite girl, we should probably be going with Futaba too. Gotta balance these. Yo. You free today? Only one thing left on that promise list. Being okay without you around. But before that, there's something I want to show you, Shadow. Um, Come to my room. Um. This is one of the promise lists I made with my mom. See, everything here has been marked off as done. Except that's kind of wrong. There was one promise I lied about doing. One promise I never actually completed. And it was get along with Kanachan. This all started back when I was in elementary school. I used to get bullied pretty hard for how weird I was. The other kids always accused me of cheating because I get perfect scores on my tests. Then, one time I turned in a test with nothing written down instead, but school ended up yelling at my mom. My life at school was horrible. Sometimes during recess, I'd lock myself in the bathroom and cry. Aww. Golly, now this makes me want to cry. I didn't have a single friend. I was always alone. But then a girl named Kana transferred to my school. She was absent a lot at first. Then when she was there, the other kids bullied her. I did it to me. But one day, she said something to me. Good morning. She started saying it every day from then on. I'm sure that must have been a shock at first. Totally. I mean, literally nobody wanted to talk to me back then. To be honest, I completely ignored her the first couple of first few times. I thought the bullets had put her up to it. But without fail, she come to she come over to me to say good morning. Then eventually I just had to say it back. Felt like my heart was gonna <laughs> shatter into a million pieces. But apparently she'd been saying it to me the whole time because she thought we could be friends. She was the first person who didn't mind how weird I was. I was so happy ma about making a friend that I told my mom. That's when she added something to my promise list get along with Kanachan, but I couldn't do it. Uh. One particularly windy morning, Kanachan dropped her diary, and the pages flew everywhere. I didn't really mean to look, but I ended up seeing everything she had written down. And once I see something, I can't forget it. It was all so horrible. 
She wrote about how her parents hit her, how they made her take pictures in weird clothes. Kanachan's diary was full of stories like that. Then when I asked her about it, she got really defensive. I felt horrible, but she just kept yelling at me for reading it. But you were a kid. You didn't know any better. <laughs> yeah, but I couldn't really tell her that. I just froze up. Then I ran. I ran and ran. I wanted her to stop yelling. I wanted to go back to how things were before. Kana-chan ended up moving away pretty soon after that, and I haven't talked to her since. So, I lied to my mom. Even after Kana-chan left, I would tell her we were best friends. Every month, she would write that promise down on my list, and every month I'd lie about it. I... I wish I could apologize to Kana-chan somehow. I really want to say her s I'm sorry. Sorry for not helping her, though she was going through even worse stuff than I was. Sorry for reading her diary. Sorry for running away. I hate being such a coward. But I think I might be able to face my, s my fears now that I'm a promise study phantom thief. Get along with Kana-chan. I'm gonna do it for real this time. <sighs> I didn't mean to tell you all that. <laughs> Not even Sojiro knows! <laughs> this is so embarrassing. Gotta help me out now. Got it? Someone's pushy today. It's another part of our deal. I feel like Futaba's really starting to depend on me. Active support. All right. Now charge. Or concentrate. Or recover SP. Right. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get on that right now. Time to go look up Kanachan's deets. Oh, sorry, I was too hospital hospitable today. I don't have to wait for next time. Okay. Make way to Cheetah and get out of my room. Hello? It's me. Something's not right, Shadow. When I tried looking up Kanachan's contact info, my fingers suddenly started trembling. I know I promised myself that I'd do this, but when I remember how angry Kanachan got, I get so scared. Are you running away again? <gasps> what am I doing? Freaking out at the most important moment? If I can't do this, then what was my training for? I don't want to run away anymore, and we'll give up on Kana. Thanks. Talking to you about this helped me calm down. I'm gonna do a little more research on Kana-chan. And please don't tell anyone we dis what we discussed today. Not even Sojiro. <laughs> Alright, fine. Bye! Ah, you're back. Ooh. I'll be at the church. Another request! However, I... I have to speak with you right now. I'll be waiting to the church. Huh. Okay. Good evening. <sighs> Sorry. I'm not in the mood for a match right now. I can't teach you shogi right now, or rather, from now on. I'm at checkmate at the moment. My new option is to concede, but I can't seem to give up. What? You'll help me out? Thank you. You need max knowledge for this, so... Actually... I'd, I'd like to talk to you about something. My mom told me that I should lose my upcoming match against the pro. Fine? I don't get it. It's a strategy, she devised. She says that if I lose to a man, I'll get sympathy from women, and does real get more female fan- That is fucked up. On so many levels. Then, when I make my comeback, I become a symbol for strong women everywhere. What the fuck? Honestly! No one should just lose a match intentionally. That way, I can use the weekly magazine's popularity against them and instantly become famous. Yeah. No. That's not gonna work. No. I wish I could agree, but I feel like my mom may be right. People do love a good comeback story. Coming from the TV industry, my mom does have great insight for entertainment. And this time around, I couldn't help but argue. It's the wrong thing to do. I actually got into a fight with my mother. It wasn't the first time, but what made me sad was I realized my mother doesn't see me as a shogi player. 
She said that there's no need for me to put in so much effort into Shogi. It's terrible. She said that once I become famous, I can quit Shogi and make money from my looks. The only reason she can continue to, to support my Shogi career is so she can profit off of me as an idol. She doesn't mind if I lose a match as long as I build my reputation and make money. That's fucked up. My mother, Shogi is just a vehicle to make me more famous. However... Losing on purpose is wrong. Even if it helps me to become famous and ease my parents' burden. I don't want to turn my back on Shogi, a game both my father and I love. Well, do something! <laughs> <sighs> if that were possible. She's the my way or the highway kind of person, it seems. She wants to achieve her old unfulfilled dream to becoming a celebrity. Through me. So, let's change their hearts. Um, what does that have to do with what we're talking about? We're upstaging the stage, Mom. That's what we doing. Hey! But we have nothing to read at the moment. Did you change your mind? That means we gotta go to Shinjuku at some point. Or the bookstore at some point. Even though we don't really need anything. <sighs> Why are you looking at me like that? I'm not sleep deprived because I want to be, you know. My neighbors have been care careless lately on garbage day. The crows were calling away this morning. Those trash nets the, si the city makes us use only keep them away at the start. Crows are quick learners. On that note, do y'all know how to write the kanji for crow? The, the characteristics for bird and crow are very look very similar, but the letter latter has a one fewer line. Isn't it easy to confuse with bird? Do you know the answer? Bird represents the eye, but do you know what's missing from crow? Crows are near crows are hard to see. Huh. <laughs> this is it. I wonder why Way to go. we gave a catchy the code name Crow. Crows are black feathered, of course, so it's hard to spot their black eyes. But crows actually have great vision. They can even see UV rays, apparently. Nice going. Huh. Uh-huh. <sighs> crows are scary, let me tell you. When you when your eyes meet, they start flapping in. Ooh. Alright. Huh, Futaba. And I think we'll hang on with Futaba instead. Sorry, Shinya. Yo. We just gotta wait for our scheduled day now. Oh yeah. I looked up all I dug up all sorts of dirt. About Kanachan, that is. Are you free? I wanna talk to you about it. Thanks. Come over to my room then. I'll tell you there. So I looked up Kanachan online, and she's apparently still living in the same town she moved to, but she never continued on to high school. I decided to do some digging into why that may be, and, well, the more I dug, the worse it got. Her parents are in heavy debt due to a gambling addiction. So, instead of sending her to school, they make her work to help try and pay it off. Apparently, they're still having her model in strange clothes. They're even selling the pictures now. Isn't that child pornography? Jesus Christ. We gotta put a stop to this. That's right! They can't just use Kanachan like some tool! Actually though, Kanachan herself made a request on the fan site. Based on the IP and other tracking data, I'm 99.9% .9 sure it's her. The post was basically just asking us to make her parents have a change of heart. But she didn't put their names. She might be a little hesitant, or she doesn't totally believe in the Phantom Thieves yet. I have a solution, either way. I... I found her parents' names in the address book we got way back in elementary school. Koda, Magadio, and Asami Magadio. I got a hit for them from the Meta now, too. We can fix them. I've decided, Shadow. I want to go to Mementos and change their hearts. We can't let them keep treating Kanachan so horribly, right? Help me save her. 
All right, I'll do it. Thanks. Oh, and since since you're gonna help me with this, I have to think of a return of favor. Oh, that's right. Oh, look, extra hard for valuable stuff when we're in the metaverse. Pretty good, huh? And we get treasure reboot. Yes. All right. Yes. After we finish a battle, search objects can come back to life. Daughter's just a meal ticket. Bye now. Good night. And we're finished with this. Confident to a certain extent, because we still need to go to Mementos. Uh, you're back. Oh, and we can finish another confidant today. Um, might as well. I would go to the jazz club, but if we could finish Sojourner's Confidant, might as well, right? You don't have any plans tonight. Hang out for me for a bit, will ya? I'm going to the church with Futaba. Sorry, but you're coming along too. Uh, may I ask why? We're going to visit Wakaba's grave. All right then. Be ready in three minutes. <laughs> three minutes later. I always think about Wakaba on the anniversary of her death. But it's been a while since I visited. I've been so busy with the shop and all. Sajiro? No, that's not it. The guilt is what kept me from coming. I thought Wakaba would be angry with me. But now that I managed to get Futaba over here, I can finally meet her with my head held high. There we go. I sure kept her waiting. But it felt good to tell her about how much Futaba's improved lately. There we go. I told her about you, too. <laughs> huh. Thanks, man. Idiot. I should be the one thanking you. This is the first time the four of us are all together. So, Jiro, what are you smirking for? Uh, <laughs> this is what my real smile looks like. I approve. <laughs> I approve, too. <laughs> oh, I have some news. The family court gave me a call the other day. Futaba's uncle decided to retract his report. It was because of you, wasn't it? <laughs> I wonder if the day will come that she goes out to be someone's bride. <laughs> I'm sure she'll make a fine lady either way. After all, she is Wakaba's daughter. Do all fathers have to go through this inside? <laughs> at some point, I'm sure. You know, I really just wanted to have you help out at the store. But you showed me so much more. You showed me I have a family I need to protect. Not just mm -hmm. Futaba, but you, too. <laughs> I may not always be reliable, but feel free to come to me if anything happens. I'll be there for you. As family. <laughs> and... Uh, uh, I know. I'll teach you everything I can. You're a full-fledged man now. All right. That might not be enough to return the favor, but it's all I can do. <laughs> Strong bond with Coffee Dad. Another confidant off the list. Thou, thou art I. Thou hast turned a vow into a blood oath. Thy bond shall become the wings of rebellion and break the yoke of thy heart. Thou hast awakened to the ultimate secret of the Hierophant, granting thee infinite power. There we go! Curry Mastery. All right. Now make Master Curry. All right. Master Coffee. There we go. Oh, and, uh, could you not, uh, you know, get with Futaba? And if I did? I can't imagine you calling me father. Although, maybe it wouldn't be so bad. <laughs> what are you two talking about? Something. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. I hunger. Curry time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> ah. Let's go home. Finish one of my five favorite confidants in the entire game. We're done with the Hierophant. Now we don't have to worry about that any longer. I think today. Uh, well, shall we begin? Well. 
What's all this? Huh. All right. So slack off there. What do you want to do? Let's make some infiltration tools because oh. we don't have a book on our hands. Just don't have enough material to make a primal lockpick yet. Oh well. Mementos time. Yeah. Let's make some psycho bombs. What do you want to do? And, uh, let's make a couple atom matches. Yeah. Hey. Hmm. Alright. That's odd. Yep. Alright then. Now, today, we're going to Mementos. We have a whole bunch of requests we can do. Hey. And that's exactly what we're gonna do. The Thieves Den has been updated again. Although we could hang out with Haru and get Harrison recovery, but uh I think this would be the perfect time to go to Mementos, and that's what we're gonna do. Okay. So, let's go. They're all here. Let's see the requests. Yeah, you, you curious about mementos? You guys are no point letting time go to waste while we wait for the day to the heist. But sure, let's get in there and do what we can for our last job. Yes, it matters not how the public views us. Let us help those in trouble. Listen up. Really? It'd be bad if we let such a dangerous guy on the loose. We have to change his heart. Mm-hmm. Listen up. Harassing boss. He steals the achievements of his underlings without doing any work himself. All for his own profit. Apparently, many of the workers have quit because they couldn't handle his spiteful nature. Well, due to his position of power for wrongdoing, such a horrible boss must repent for what he's done. Let us beat that rubbish mentality into submission. Listen up. The human incarnation of greed, who borrows money and runs off with it. He's changed his name and even had surgery to change his face. Not even the police can catch him. <sighs> When Reed has gone that far, the only thing I can feel is pity. It seems it would be best if we help change his heart. I'm on board. Listen up. Man, stuff. Man, making a fortune teller suffer. He called himself the chairman of an organization, but he is nothing but a money scamming fraud. Indeed. This must be regarding Shahai and Mifune, the fortune teller you had mentioned before. To think she had been dragged to such a dishonest cult. Cannot court. overlook this. What a despicable money monger. We shall bring his true nature to light in mementos. Nice. Listen up. This is the owner of that Central Street Airsoft shop. What the hell? That man's pretty freaking scary. In any case, this time I'm going to be a real criminal. He'll be a worthy opponent. Nice. Listen up. Her boss. He's been harassing her and keeping her from investigating the case in which her partner went missing. He has to know something that he doesn't want other people knowing. What did you say? Truth is the height of heart, highest art for a journalist. To think someone would be so imprudent as to repeat it. Let us lend Oya our assistance so she can gather the news she needs. Nice. Listen up. Uh, that's... She's treating her daughter like some kind of tool. We had to release Hifumi from that state. Very well. Nice. Listen up. <sighs> I'm gonna crush them. I'll save Kanacha. Nice, nice. Yep. All right. Now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine requests. Let's go to Mementos. Yes. Let's do our best. Yep. Let's go. I don't know how long this has been going on, so. May stop in a minute. The Metanav is reacting. Indeed, it is a new area. Looks like Mementos has expanded even further. Hmm. I thought public opinion of us determined Mementos' expansion. Mementos' expansion that has plummeted lately. Our nobility must still be on the rise, even if it's because of our currently bad reputation. So, we're like a celeb who gets famous because of scandals? I don't like the sound of that. 
Either way, the further we go, the more powerful enemies we'll meet. We need to be cautious in there. Let's go see what, what, where the changes occur, Joker. Time to work. Let's, Let's do, do this. this. All right. Write something. And I think I will go in here and chase some people's hearts. And next time on Persona 5 Royal, we will be back up here. Maybe get the twins confident up to rank nine, depending on what personas I can get. And well, maybe get closer to sending the calling card. So like and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time.